Hi guys, it's spooky time. We're gonna talk about a new type of infected called the stalker. As you guys are experts, you should already know that there are four types of infected. The first stage of the infection is the runner. He sees you, he takes a run at you. The third stage of the infection is the clicker. It's a blind monster that makes very creepy sounds, like click, 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 click. And the last stage of the infection is called a bloater. It's basically a fat terrorist monster throwing spores bombs at you and opening your jaw as easily as a box of chocolate. The one we're gonna discuss is the stage of infection between the runner and the clicker, called the stalker. That will be reintroduced in The Last of Us Part 2. Let's take a closer look at that mother stalker. As you can see, that shit can dodge, that shit can hide, and that shit can pursue. Imagine a clicker. That's already creepy enough. But no, now that shit can run. Thank you, Naughty Dog. I actually lied, it's not exactly a new infected. They were already present in the first part of The Last of Us. Do you guys remember the suburbs and the sewers chapter? Remember a guy named Ish? Let me refresh your memory. Ish was a sailor. He was out to sea for several months during the outbreak. But when he ran out of food, he needed to come back ashore. So he decided to build his own safe house. For that, he needed supplies, so he decided to scavenge the nearby suburbs. That's when he encountered a family, Susan, Kyle and their children. And since there is no point in surviving alone, he decided to offer them refuge in the sewers. The children even drew a castle for the new wonderland. Time passed and it slowly started to become a thriving community. With schools, beds, showers, we can guess that they took in several families. Until one day, a door was left open. And you already know the rest, a horde of infected went in. It was a slaughter. And then those infected children sort of maintained some part of their humanity, while they were still monsters, which makes them even more creepier. If you remember well, these stalkers were playing hide and seek with you. And that man, that really messed me up. You must be wondering how to kill a stalker. Well, it's a mix between killing a runner and killing a clicker. The runners, they run at you and they can still pink. They also track in packs. Look at those glowing red eyes. As soon as they see you, they start screaming, which alerts the other infected, and that will quickly spread into a horde chasing you. They're easily killable, but you can quickly get overwhelmed. Now that Ellie can jump and dodge, they'll make the fights even harder, and the new runners will be even faster. Now about the clickers with their croaking noises. If you get too close, they won't shut you. They're impossible to punch or hit using melee weapons. Except if you throw a bottle or a brick at them. They're blind, but they use echolocation to see. That's why they make these awful sounds. So for these stalkers, if you want my advice, with the strength of a clicker and the eyesight and speed of a runner, you'll need to be very sneaky. Uh, 
you'll be able to use your melee weapons against stalkers. But their counter attacks are deadlier. A headshot is always a good option. Especially with a shotgun. Oh, and use bricks too. Use a lot of bricks. The sequence I showed you earlier was actually a mini boss fight. So they won't all be as strong, but stay very alert. That's it for this video. If you have a cool strategy to handle these mother stalkers, please let us know in the comments. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you guys.